joined a little improvisational acting group and threw myself into it wholeheartedly for about a year. Changed my life. And during that time, I met John Leslie. I didn't know that John was an adult actor at the time. We, we knew we were, we shared information about acting. One day John called up and asked me if I wanted the opportunity to get in front of the camera. And it was at that point that I was suspicious and I, I thought this could only be a porno movie because there were many being shot in San Francisco at that time. And so uh, I, with some trepidation, I agreed to go and meet the director, and it, I did, and I took the role, which was a straight role, I didn't even have to take my clothes off, it was in a film called V the Hot One, and, uh, and I loved the art of filmmaking immediately, and so that's how it all began for me. <laughs> Well, we've lost another one of the queens of the golden age of porn. We'll discuss this, but before we start, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share. Thank you for those of you who have been here for us. Thank you for you know sharing these on there. We're almost at 600. We're just pushing we're pushing 600. I'm hoping we'll get to 700 or at least close to 700 this year. And that's a good thing. That's a very good thing, uh, especially with everything that's been going on lately, the, the insanities and stuff like that. And our other social media platforms are doing good as well. Rumble's starting to pick up a little, a little steam. Uh, BitChute is doing excellent. Uh, and uh, Odyssey's, you know, we're, we're still working on the live streams on there, the, the viewership on the live streams. But, you know, we're going to get there. We're going to get there, working all together on this. Uh, a well-working machine. So, getting into this, I mean, we just lost Kitty Navidad just recently on there. Another one of the queens of the golden age of porn. Uh, but sad to say now, we've lost Kay Parker uh, at the age of 78. We're going to read into this out of XBiz. Golden age uh, of porn performer Kay Parker has passed away. This was uh, a week ago at 78. Industry sources have confirmed the UK-born star actively performed from 1977 until 1989, which she appeared sporadically for over a decade in uh, also non-sex roles as well. Her IFD page shows over 100 credits, many of them high-profile Golden Age titles like the Taboo series up to five. Um, the Hot One, Sex World, Dracula Sucks, Chorus Call, The Dancers, and Firestorm. Adult Industry History Archive, The Rialto Report, published a remembrance of a full recent interview with the late performer. According to Rialto's report, Ashley West Parker entered a, the business through friendship with performer uh, John Leslie and appreciated director Anthony Spinelli. Uh, Parker survived the transition from film to video, and in the 1980s, she appeared regularly in films with a new generation of much younger stars as Tracy Lords and Angel. When the video era took hold, she retired and became a metaphysical counselor. West describes Parker as sweet, funny, gentle, and considerate, always making the person she was, she was with a feel special and value. She appeared bemused by her success as a sex performer, but always had time to speak speak of everyone with great fondness. But but the popularity of the title she had star in fans have abated even long after her retirement. In July 2006, uh, they put out the very best of Kay Parker on video on demand on hot movies, and ABN distributor told XBiz in 2007 they did much on the very. Uh, best of Kay Parker in the first two months as we did in the rest of our titles combined. Yeah, I mean, she, I'll tell you, I, one thing was one of the first movies was w with her uh, is what 
you know, between her, uh, Julian Anderson, and uh, a couple of others that were the first ones I've ever caught. You know, Kay Parker, one of the first ones on there. You know, a lot of people said, you know, that you had uh, Deep Throat. Is mostly, if you lived in the 70s, 80s, you know, one of the first porn movies most people saw was Deep Throat. Mine was Taboo that I saw for the on there. That was my first uh, spin with uh, Kay Parker's movies. Uh, she, as an actress, she was a wonderful actress. You know, she did other things outside the adult industry on there. Even though a lot of the stuff was low budget or she was unaccredited. Uh, for example, uh, she was in 1982's The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, which was the uh, Burt Reynolds uh, Dolly Parton uh, movie on there. And she did a lot of other stuff. I mean, if you go through her IMDb, a lot of it's adult, but you could probably find something in between that she was in. Uh, TV move made for TV movies. Uh, I mean, like I said, attractive, very good actress, very well spoken of herself. Uh, you you know you don't ex when it comes to a lot of the um, adult uh, actors from the golden age of porn, um, the ones that didn't die of drug overdose or, you know, had situations on there. A lot of them uh, were very nice people. And this is why, you know, when people attack the adult industry and they say like, oh, they're just perverts. These are nice people. A lot of them are. Yeah, some of them fall into the drug situation, alcoholism. When, when do you not, you know, get in trouble with the mob? Like, you know, Ron Jeremy, there's a story where Ron Jeremy got in trouble with the mob in, uh, I think it was in, in um, I can't even think, in, in Massachusetts, excuse me, before I forget, Ma I think Massachusetts mob at the time. There's a, there's a story on it on YouTube. But, you know, you get it out of Hollywood too. Any, you know, you hear the stories of Hollywood actors, you know, overdose and... Uh, drunk driving, caught caught with a tra trans in the car. Uh, you know, it, this is the whole gambit of, you know, being in the entertainment business. It's never that easy. There's always temptations at every door. Um, and, you know, if you make it through it, you know, you you got to sit there and pray to God and say, thank you for getting me through this. You know, Kay Parker happened to be one of the ones that made it through uh, a rough patch because the 70s and 80s, you know, with the transformation from one um, physical media to another, uh, you know, you, you went from the movie theater to uh, the, what do they call it, the booths at the time that you can go to booth, pay a quarter, whatever it was back then, and watch the movie in there. Uh, and then you get you went into the VHS era, the beta VHS era, on there, and then it was tough, you know, because you know it was it was a new format. You didn't know what you were going to get paid for on that. And then you had the controversial stuff on there, uh, John Holmes, uh, Tracy Lords. But you know the the stories that come out of the adult industry is not uncommon of any entertainment. Whether it's music, whether it's Hollywood, whether you know the film industry, the broadcast, you know, television industries, there's always some sort of situation that goes on. You know, people want to put blames and well, it's because you know they're depraved and stuff like that. No, it's basically, you know, like like I said before, you know, you you, you begin to wonder, you know, if you make it through the industry without, you know, knocking on a couple of doors. That, you know, you get in trouble, you end up at a party, then, you know, you end up ODing on cocaine or something to that nature. But with, with Kay, you know, you don't hear that, you didn't hear that stuff with her. Whether she did or didn't, I mean, like I said, she, re she retired in the article that she retired at the, at the end of the 80s and went off to do herself. It's the same thing, you know, we talked about this before with many other uh, adult stars that, have left from that era that left the industry and went on to the medical field or something which they're still in the industry but they're they're hitting it from the outside and helping 
You know, just like Sharon Mitchell. Sharon Mitchell, big star also from that from that era. She she's a medical doctor these days, help helping the adult industry, people in the porn industry, uh, when it comes down because you know. During the 80s, you know, you had the AIDS crisis, and AIDS hasn't gone away. You know, most people don't talk about it these days, but AIDS, technically, it's still around. You know, not like it used to be. Uh, I think they have more, they've gotten more of a control to the situation. Uh, but uh, when it comes down to it, you know, you didn't have that help in the 70s, but now, in 2022, you have the, the, that help then. So rest in peace, Kay Parker. Uh, you can catch her stuff, you know, digital, digitally. Uh, or, and, and as I said before, go out, buy a physical copy of her movies. Look at the listings. She's got a lot of great titles. Like I said, very sexy woman uh, and very intelligent. You know, when it comes down when, her, when she speaks and says her lines. So once again, rest in peace, Kay Parker. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in and bye-bye now.